<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do uh, a little planet. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is we're definitely going to want to straighten out this horizon line here. We're going to use the Straighten tool, and we're going to change the cropping mode to Crop to Remove Background. Just drag it along here. Okay. Now we've got this is even cross. Actually, we might want to straighten it out for this bottom part here, actually, instead. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can find some sort of buildings here that are about the same size, because then we're going to want to crop them up so they kind of match up here. Let's see. Um. Okay, we're going to crop it then down to over here. Okay. Next, we're going to do another cropping here. We're going to crop down some of this water here. And then crop as close to the top of the buildings here as possible. Okay. And then we can delete our guide layer here. That's not necessary to create if you're doing this here. Next, what we're going to have to do is we're going to go to Image, Resize, Image Size, and make sure you've unchecked constrained proportions. And we're going to adjust so our height and width are the exact same size. 3882, OK. Now this will stretch it out a little bit, but don't worry, it will look better once we turn it into a planet here. Now we're going to go to Image, Rotate, 180 degrees. Because when we wrap this around the thing, it's going to wrap up from the top here. Then what we want to go to is we want to go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. We want a rectangular to polar. Okay, <coughs> now we have the beginning of our planet here. But as you can see, there's a big line that runs right through the center of it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to touch up these buildings here, though. Just kind of um, see if we can just blend them in with the spot healing brush. Eh, kind of. Um, what am I? Yeah. Actually, we might be able to ignore these if we sort of paint out the top of here. So, I brings up the selection tool. Going to grab that color. B is the brush. See if I can kind of create a building out of here. There we go. Zoom out, yeah. Um, just grab the spot fix tool for this. This is easy because it's all the same pattern sort of here. There we go. That's all done. Um, touch up the trees with the same thing. The healing brush tool. You're going to hit Alt on a section that you want it to sample and then just paint with it. It'll paint from that section. Which is what we'll have to do here. That's not working. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right now as I touch this up here. Hi, we're back here just to show you one other useful technique here for this. Down behind um, this bottom icon here, you'll find the smudge tool. And if you can get a big enough brush here, it can really help you blend the clouds together. Unfortunately, it's relatively RAM intensive, so if you don't have a decent computer, this can really slow down your workflow here. As you can see, mine's still running here. But it can really help you blend these seams, especially with the flowy clouds like this. Okay. Now, we're going to want to do just one final thing here. Go to Image, Rotate, and we're just going to rotate it maybe 90 degrees to the right here. Maybe a full 180 degrees. Mostly just because where everyone's going to look for the seam, if they know how to do this, is going to be right up here. 
but if you move it elsewhere, you can definitely confuse people here and make it look like a much better job than you've actually done. If you want, you can then crop down the um, actual planet part here. I like to use the circle marquee tool, drag it up to the corner, hold shift, control shift I, if you remember this from the other planet tutorial, then you can fill this in with like white if you want, black if you want to put it in space or something, I mean, whatever you want. And with that, you now have a little planet.